Hello everyone. Just out for a wee walk today. Just have a wee looky loo. Sunday. And it's uh it's like Independence Day thing, something like that in Poland, so everything's closed. So I'm away down to the wee river. Which is this, it looks like a wee lake, but it's kinda wee river thing. Apparently somewhere down here, you see it's really misty, but somewhere along here there is beavers. And I want to go and see if I can see any. Cause my friend's mum's garden, she's got a little garden place and the beaver, it's not far, it's like two minutes from here. And apparently the beavers come in and steal the trees. <laughs> like, um, chew down all the trees, so. Yeah, we're just out for a wee investigatory walk. Also maybe see if I can find any places for camping. Because I've got to do that. My, my first little while here is going to be Maybe day walks, day hikes, uh, looking for places. Because, um, yeah, I've got to find suitable places to camp and and obviously check out that it's okay to do so. So, um, yeah. Ideally, I'm going to try and find a farmer just outside the city or something that's got private land where I can maybe build a wee bushcraft camp or something. It's nice long here, really quiet. So yeah, I'll bring you back if we can see any signs of these beavers. Now yeah, we've walked a wee way. You can see we're following this like this sort of canal type thing that feeds into that almost like a wee lake up there. I'm gonna keep on round there. I've not seen any sign of beaver or anything yet, but apparently they are up this way. A few different bits of them. I love walking in this mist. It's lovely here. See that goes on for quite a wee way. We came from way, way, way down there. Maybe even see a few deer or other thingies. We'll just keep our eyes open, eh? It's just a wee scouting mission. I don't know where you can see that, guys, but that looks like beaver nibbles on them, on them tree stumps there. And I think just around, yeah, just around here. See the strips of wood in that there? I don't know if that's been chopped or that is beaver, I'm definitely no expert, but for me, what I can see, what you can't see off camera, you can see what looks like teeth marks on them. So yeah, maybe. As you can see, we're on a wee road here. That way, you can only see that far. Out here looks like, like farmland. I can see some cows in the distance. I don't know if you can pick them up on there. It's still big flat land. And then we've got another road that goes that way, we can see about that far, so... The other way heads back to where we're from, so... We're gonna head up this way. See how far we can get. See if we do get anywhere. Or we get told to get lost because it's private land. I don't think this is private land though. I walked around some private land where we saw that... What looked like beavers had been eaten, so I don't really want to go in there and... You know... Upset anyone. I don't know if you can see that from here as well. I'll zoom in for you. You can probably see it from there, but... A huge bracket fungus on that tree. It's really big, actually. I found this wee bit here. I just saw on this tree. You can see the big white things. There's huge polypores on it. Quite far up the tree. I don't know how well you can see them, but... I mean, they're big, like, really big. And then if you look as well, see size, I don't know what that is, but... I mean, a lot of the bottoms of the trees down here, that looks like it's been eaten away by something. You've got down there as well, that tree and that one there, so... Eh, maybe beavers, maybe not. My way along this, if you can see just in the distance there, this is more by like the river. Lots of people out fishing out here today. I don't know which way. I was going to go down by those cars there and over. I don't think you can go that way. I don't see anywhere across. Unless there'll be a bridge there or something. I've walked quite a way. Might go down a bit and see if, uh, see if anyone knows any English. <laughs> Cause I wanna, I wanna talk 
to someone about, you know, about fishing. I know you've got to get licenses and things. You've actually got to do a test in Poland uh, to be allowed to fish. Um, I think you've got to know the rules and regulations sort of regarding the techniques and uh, what do we call it? Like the size of fish you can take, things like that. The poles that got down there, down here I would say, and that, I think this is the top of the Varta, um, they're probably fishing for some big pike or uh, probably big catfish, big catfish in there. Like real big catfish. <laughs> Amongst other things, grayling, dace, chub. Getting all sorts in there, I think. All sorts of match fish. See again, there's wee horses in the distance over there. You can't really see them because of the thing, through the mist. Lovely wee spot this way. Not many, not much in the way of trees or that, but I'm going to continue up the road. I've walked quite a wee way, I'm going to continue up there for a wee bit. If you're out the city, but get wee houses dotted about, uh, I think we're going to continue up. Because even if I don't find trees from a hammock, I could maybe find something to do a wee crown dwelling up this way. Just travel light. I've been into the, the military surplus shops. Oh, why does that zoom in? Why is my phone doing that? Stop it. There we go. Thank you. Um, been up, checked out a couple of military shops and that, so I'm going to grab a couple of wee bits and uh, yeah, see about getting a wee camp done. I need to get something done because I'm going crazy not being out. <laughs> so, walking for a bit more, and I've finally kind of uh, come across the first, you know, substantially wee bit of woodland that looks like planted spruce. Uh, someone's land ends there, you can see the, the sort of line with the white tags on it. I think that looks a wee bit, a wee bit thick to get into. Um, but just over there, if you can see just at the corner there, you can see what looks like a wee bit, a wee bit open, just a wee corner. A bit more deciduous stuff. So that's a definite possibility. I need to go around the corner and see if there's any, like a house on the back here or a... Or something because you never know. You can see you've got some, uh, what do you call it? Got birch there. A lot of birch, a lot of spruce here. So the lighting fire should never really be a problem, although I need to work on my uh, birch back, birch a bark technique. Um, but yeah, hopefully in that wee corner over there. Even if I'm coming out for a day camp, just to, you know, just to come out and maybe make a wee fire, cook something. Uh, see what's what and there's sort of hell on there next to the canal and stuff you can see horses and there are horses in the distance there there's a wee clump of woodland over there which could maybe do as well I don't think many people are going to be out there there's not I've kind of passed the last bit of the I suppose the houses a lot of big trees lying in this as well but you can see they bark on them nothing they're all dead Got big trees. But yeah, that does look promising. I'm gonna play around the corner of that and see. I'm not really gonna climb down it. I've just got my trainees on today. I've not got my my walking boots and that out. That's why I'm not going into any sort of heavy hangies. Just a uh, yeah, there. That looks like. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, you see in there? That looks like a nice wee cut, a wee path into them woods. That'll be something to investigate. Yeah, you can see that in there, that actually cuts into the woods. You can see it's obviously a used path, whether that's a game path or a um, people path, I don't know. We'll need to figure that out. Okay, looking a bit more promising now this far out, I'd say. From where I'm staying right now, this is about uh, two mile, maybe two miles I've headed out of the city, so we, we were staying quite quite on the outskirts of the city anyway, so you know it's a fair wee way from the city now. Uh, 
But then obviously I'm going to look at some houses, but that's going to take me across the other side of the city, so I'm going to have to do some scouting then. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Walking down another path, but see there's field here with all the horses. Oh, look at them, all out there. Um, the other side, nothing for ages. Don't know how far that goes on, you can't see because of the mist. See all the mist all around. Yeah, lots of horses out this way. Horse farm, horse sanctuary, I don't know. Not often. I feel very, um, <laughs> very out in the middle of nowhere at the moment. Don't even know if I'm allowed on this road. I'm not doing any harm. These aren't so interested in me, they're really not bothered. Yeah, too busy munching. Too busy munching. Well, we'll see where this road takes us. See? Seems to just go on for miles. I think I've gone about as far as I can go on this path. I seem to be right up the top. This, I think, is the Varta now. There's a river, this is moving like a big river at the top. But maybe not because the Varta is big. But, uh, yeah. I think it's as far as I could go. I thought there might be a, a path going that way. Which I think there is some fishermen in that use, but I don't think it goes to really anything. You know, like a proper path back, so I am probably going to head back back the way I came. You can see fishing quite popular, more fishermen over there. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's back the way we came now, so I don't get lost. But, uh, that was a good wee, uh, a good wee um, thingy about. I'm going to see as well because I think I can reach these ones. There's lots of bracket fungus, but I'm going to show you how big the ones are on these trees. There's loads of it about. And these things are massive up here. Bigger one than ones I've seen in any of the ones I've seen in Carlisle, anyway. Yeah. So, that's my hand. They're massive. So these aren't, uh, what do you call it? These aren't um, amadou. These are polypores. These ones, you know, you can probably use use this bottom part. This bottom portion is a plaster or to strop your knife or things. Not sure if that one higher up. It's a really big one. It looks a wee bit more like horseshoe, but yeah, I'm not sure. It's more on the tree over there as well, and everywhere up here. That's quite cool. But, um, yeah, this has been a lovely wee walk. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to motor back a wee bit. I've been out for a while now. I've actually, I've probably walked about a good six or seven miles. Be a good six or seven miles now walking right up that road and right here. Been out for quite a while. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head on back. The way I came, it's fairly easy, it's just a straight road down here, turn right, keep on going. Um, yeah, I'll bring you back if anything particularly exciting happens. Yeah, if anything exciting happens, I'll bring you back, see anything hangy, bring you back, we'll notice any more little woodlands because it's a part of the way I'm going to go a slightly different way back, not around the back of those houses by a little pond, there's another path, but it. Seems to head the right way. Uh, that has been a lovely wee walk today. No beavers. We did see a couple of signs of what I think could be beavers. As I said before, I am definitely no expert. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to get some breakfast or something because I haven't eaten yet today. And uh, I'm going to be upload this video. Only going to be a wee short one, I think, but. It's going to be like this for a little while, uh, while I'm out scouting and stuff and obviously I'm getting a uh, job and house and everything sorted first, you know, because that is more important, uh, get the routines down and 
and then go scouting. Where I am, well, where I think I'm going to end up over the other side of the city, um, I'm going to have to have a wee look and see what trails go off that way and things. I could come back here, I could get a bus, boom, straight up here, it's really easy. Uh, and, bef and after I cut into the, the path off the main road, you can actually walk out the city more, a few more, a couple more miles, and then you're apparently like in loads of trees, like real load of trees, but from where I was there, that's about, that's about four mile walk before I even get to the point where the trees start, and then you gotta obviously find a way in, so. Yeah, stick with us, we'll have more content coming, hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Some of it will be day hikes, some of it will be a little bit of maybe cooking for just for the day. We'll get a night one done as soon as we can. Uh, some of it's going to be a bit of, a little bit of maybe vlogs. Not not all the vlogs, but everything about my work and everything in Poland. But you know, a wee bit here and there about living in Poland and, and stuff because it's a real interesting country. I I like it. And uh, yeah, we'll sort that out, I suppose. Yeah, so I'm just on the way back now and the mist is sort of cleared so you can see the other side of that canal, rivery, bank bit. You see over there there's houses, goes up to about that house in the centre of the frame, that's about the last house. And then you can see there's all that woodland there, quite a wee ways until you get to some houses right over there. But it looks like that woodland goes back a fair way. So what I think I'll do, it'll be an investigation for another day, but um, it'll be an investigation for another day, but I know the path that goes up to that, unfortunately I need to go down down the main road and up another path across the other side of that, that bank there. But that does look promising. Also that bit of woodland that I went by, it's a fairly size. You can see more of it now. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. See it there in the distance, deer pegging it through there. Sorry, I had to use the digital zoom so it's not that good, but what's the sort of bigger animals I've seen out this way? Well, that's us about, I don't know, five minutes from home or something like that, so uh, this concludes our little mission for today. But, um, yeah, uh, no beaver. I saw signs of what potentially could be beavers. Um, seen a good bit of wildlife. Lots of horses up here and stuff as well. And uh, saw that deer right at the end there. So yeah, it's been a lovely wee walk. It's been a lovely wee scout. Uh, next one is going to be right up the other side of all this water, all this river and stuff. And uh, have a wee look here up there, see if we can get to those woods. It's a fair old walk, like, but a bit. Not much further than I walked today, but that does look promising. So, yeah, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you do enjoy this video. Not my usual. And um, do like, you know, stay subscribed. <laughs> uh, or subscribe, share, like, comment. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ta-ra!